Which one will it be, folks? Will it be the road in DSU? It's me or the Firefine K670. Coming up. Hey you guys and welcome back to GAL. If you guys are new here, I do video production and video editing tutorials weekly to help you guys create better content. So today I'm doing a video for you guys that are just getting started into audio and want to invest in a USB condenser microphone. So I have two of them right here. I have the Fifine K670 and the Rode NT-USB. The main difference between them just from price is that they're about a hundred dollars apart this one is 48 at the time of recording and this is 169. this one has great reviews it's a top seller on vnh and amazon and rode is a great audio microphone company um fifine is new to the market so the idea here is whether or not you guys need to spend that extra hundred dollars to get good quality sound and what's really cool in today's technology, especially in Premiere Pro with the Essential Sound Panel, there's great noise reduction technology um, and enhancers that can really make your sound sound great, even for cheaper end microphones. So remember, these are just for beginners, but you can make it sound really good. And they're so portable and easy to use. Both of these come with these USB cables here. So you just plug them in in the bottom. So this end goes into the bottom of each. And then you put in this USB into a PC or a Mac and you just record the sound directly into your computer using any type of software. So on my Mac, I use a QuickTime player to record. I also use Adobe Premiere Pro and Audition to record my audio. So. They both have headphone jacks, so you can plug in your headphones into them. They both have volume controls. Uh, they both have the same microphone pattern shape, which is a cardioid pattern. That means that they pick up audio directly in the front and not on the sides. So if you talk into the microphone like this, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and jump in and record and then apply some sound noise reduction enhancements that you guys requested. I left a poll in the community tab and we'll compare to see if it's actually worth that extra hundred dollars. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry guys, there's a question in the audience. Uh-huh, uh-huh, great question. So if you guys didn't hear, somebody asked what a pop filter was because this Rode NT-USB microphone has a pop filter and this one does not. Well, this is a noise reduction protection filter. That's what it is. This protects it from that those big breaths coming in, the big pops coming in where they're talking with a lot of peas and that's why it's called a pop filter. So it's a great way to avoid it damaging the actual quality of the sound. Um, there are ways, of course, if you're very careful to talk very carefully into this and it's not completely necessary, but most people that are in audio would highly recommend using a pop filter. So let's go ahead and just get these plugged on in here. So, so if you guys are Mac users, welcome to Dongle City. It doesn't take a standard USB, so I have to plug it into an adapter. So I'm just gonna plug this in here. Put this in. La la. So you will know that it's on because there's a little blue light on inside. I don't know if you guys can see that, but basically USB condenser microphones, most of them you will see that it has been illuminated inside. This color is blue, so that means it's on and it's good to go. The next step is to turn on our recording technology. So the first microphone that we're doing is the Fifine K670, and I'm recording directly into Premiere Pro. To make sure that the microphone is set up, just go to Premiere Pro, go to Preferences, Audio Hardware, and you can choose the input. And this one should come up as mic underscore test, and then hit yes. And that is the Fifine microphone. All right, so now to get it to record in Premiere Pro, you're gonna hit the record button and then hit the play button. And then it's recording into Premiere. And so then what you can do is make sure that the audio levels are not peaking. If it's above zero, it's gonna start peaking. So if I hold this closer and it's between zero and minus 12 decibels, then we're good. So I'm just going to read a bit from Planet Earth 2. Um, done by David Attenborough. So this is what it's going to sound like. There are only 14 peaks in the world that rise to over 8,000 meters. All of them are here 
in the Himalayas. Lethally cold, scarred by gales and blizzards. These mountains. These mountains are among the most hostile places on earth. Now I'm going to fully embody my golem character. Must have suppressors distorted from us. Sneaky little hobbits of us. Road anti USB. There are only. There are only. Okay. There are only 14 peaks in the world that rise to over 8,000 meters. All of them are here in the Himalayas. Lethally cold, scarred by gales and blizzards, these mountains are among the most hostile places on Earth. Must have surprises. They stole it from us. Sneaky little hobbits of us. So straight out of the microphone, I felt like the experience and the sound was much better coming from the Rode NT-USB, but we'll see. Maybe they'll sound roughly the same after I do some post-processing using the Essential Sound Panel in Premiere Pro. And this video is sponsored by Syncly. Syncly is a form of AI music technology that allows you to customize music to match the sort of feel and mood that you're going for. So you can use it inside of Premiere Pro or the web app and you can change the tempo of the music, you can change the fullness of the track, and even customize the different stems of the musical instruments until you achieve that effect. So you guys can save $41 using my code GAL199. Instead of getting it for $240, you can get it for $199, and you can use these music in any type of video. So I'll put a full uh, description of the product as well as my code in the description box below. What follows are the fully groomed voiceovers with music from Syncly. I use Premiere's Essential Sound Panel to repair and mix the sound. Can you guess which mic is which? There are only 14 peaks in the world that rise to over 8,000 meters. All of them are here in the Himalayas. Lethally cold, scarred by gales and blizzards, these mountains are among the most hostile places on Earth. There are only 14 peaks in the world that rise to over 8,000 meters. All of them are here in the Himalayas. Lethally cold, scarred by gales and blizzards, these mountains are among the most hostile places on Earth. So let me know what you guys think of the video by giving the video a thumbs up and leaving a comment below. And if you guys have any other questions about the Fifine K9, no, K670 or the Rode NT-USB, just leave a comment below and let me know what you guys want to learn. Cause you know, this whole community is about having fun and learning and asking questions and not being ashamed to ask something that maybe you don't know about. Also a huge shout out to Syncly for sponsoring this video. If you guys made it to the end here, be sure to also use the code GAL199 to save $41 on Syncly for unlimited customizable music. See you guys next time. Bye. There are only 14 peaks in the world that rise to over 8,000 meters. All of them are here in the Himalayas. Lethally cold, scarred by gales and blizzards, these mountains are among the most hostile places on Earth. 
the David Attenborough all instead of all they say all all of them are here 